Hello and welcome back. Uh, this is one of the important lectures in this MOOC course and this is the uh, most interesting thing and in fact it will be more informative for the people who, who have got a lot of packages to add on to your um, uh, LACTEC documentation and in fact this is the uh, procedure for updating the packages in the MCTEC distribution and so far we have been dealing with the packages that are available in the MCTEC distribution and in case you want to create a package or you want to uh, download some other packages not there in the default location so this video is all about how to incorporate or update your MCTEC distribution with your new packages um, it is not only the packages even sometimes uh, there are many uh, class files are generated so they're not a part of your MCTEC distribution and that also has to be added to your MCTEC distribution so we'll be doing the uh, addition of the class files in your MCTEC distribution as well as the packages so let's get started I'll open the tech maker and uh, we'll create a new document uh, document class uh, I'm going to use a uh, type of document class what a Springer journal use as uh, is S P H A U R and three this is the type of uh, class file the Springer journal uses probably like we have done this early uh, probably like uh, we have uh, said uh, um, where to look, uh, download this particular class file and this uh, video is all about how to incorporate that in your default MacTech distribution then I uh, will go to uh, begin document and end documents say I'm gonna give types of this like this is a Springer um, I'll just put SP capital Springer journal manuscript sample so this is Springer journal manuscript sample and um, the package also um, use package uh, Stanley and I'm just gonna close this um, I'll save this file I'll save this as uh, Springer manuscript yeah I'll just save this file let's see uh, what happens when we compile I'm gonna click compile yeah the straight away it says Lachak error and file svjour3.cls which is a class file not found so which means that we don't have this file already in our document and uh, that will create a fatal error out occurred so no output or no pdf file produced so how do we go and change this so pay attention so I've downloaded the uh, Springer class file so this is the entire um, folder but it has got almost all the uh, requirements if for example the BST file which is the uh, bibliographic style files then CLO files and uh, this is the class file which we have to load into our document and this is a template file which uh, the um, Springer journal gives us for uh, I mean a sample template and this is the user um, manual or uh, user guide that you can use it to understand the Springer journal tree so I think this we have done early so this is the description of the um, uh, Springer um, journal class files we can produce these three different types the two columns and this condensed and not condensed something like that so I'm gonna close this for a moment so before that I'm just gonna make a new folder called I'll tell you why I create a new folder in a moment so as of now I'm gonna create svjour3 uh, and uh, I'm gonna load only uh, the class file and CLO file so I'm not gonna take anything else I'm gonna make it a folder and I'm gonna paste it here so this is the uh, location so I'll copy this svjour3 doesn't matter the name but this is important the name here the class files are important supposing if you put svjour2 and even though the document corresponds to svjour3 it will not call in your um, class file so this name should be as as equivalent I mean as uh, exactly this one so I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna press Ctrl C to copy 
then I'm gonna go to my C drive and program files where I in incorporate I mean install MIGTEX, the MIGTEX distribution here pay attention so when you uh, traverse to the MIGTEX so and go to uh, something called tech tech so here it is tech then LaTeX so MIGTEX tech LaTeX this is the uh, pretty much an important step you should really know about this this is kind of a very cool step also so it'll be a little confusing so MIGTEX tech LaTeX so remember this uh, particular um, the, the location then I'm gonna paste this by uh, right click paste it will generally ask for administration permission so I'm gonna click continue and we have added successfully here if you refresh it it will all adjust it based on the alphabetical uh, order then uh, I'll just minimize this I don't want to lose the location so then I'll go here and uh, I just delete this file because we have pasted the file and uh, I'll just go here and I'll copy all the BST files or bibliography style files control C and I'm gonna copy this into the folder so G O U R and I'm gonna copy this control C and I'm going to the MIGTEC location so instead of that I, this is just the MIGTEC so in here it is like BIPTEC so BIPTEC go to BST and uh, we are uh, saving the uh, bibliographic style file in this location so it will not be uh, advisable to save that in the uh, tech and latex location so bibliography has to be saved in this location you see uh, ab style it has got all the bibliographic uh, files and say an ams you see this uh, location where all the uh, bibliographic styles files are generally loaded so i'm gonna copy and i'm gonna paste this and say my administration position and uh, this is yeah we have successfully added it and uh, before we uh, dive in or oh, i'll just uh, i'll just remove this uh, package so um this gets loaded into the uh, particular folder i mean we have copy paste the stuff into the uh, exact location but is that sufficient so let's uh, compile this and see what happens I compile this but it still says the uh, file is missing so generally if you're a beginner to be uh, intimidating for you so it'll be a frustrating moment for you so even though you added it into the document so it's not get updated so that's not correct so I'm gonna close this there's a procedure go to your uh, screen and probably you can traverse to the um, search and you can type in uh, settings and uh, probably you could see uh, MIGTEC settings and MIGTEC administration settings so I'm gonna click the administration settings and it opens up this dialog box so this is very important so refresh the FNDB so that will refresh your database uh, it takes some time so but it's worth the time so don't worry uh, the behind uh, goes like not responding stuff but it's still responding and sometimes you get your MIGTEC maintenance also to be uh, not responding but don't worry if you uh, if you patiently wait and it will all uh, succeed in a more and in, in, in two or three minutes maximum I don't think it will take more than a minute as well and it's just updating the uh, package and I recommend you to do it uh, for only MIGTEC options and admin, admin so there's another settings also will be available but uh, that's not the uh, um, correct uh, uh, thing that you wanted to do so this will update the package in the database and once it updates uh, we'll go back to the, um, the tech maker and we'll compile it and hopefully the document gets compiled and that's it so and one more thing like you also should update the format so it takes not much time so uh, the database takes a little time so this does yeah it's done quickly I'll give ok then I'll go to my tech maker now let's compile this document say yes here we are we have compiled a Springer journal sam a manuscript sample so this is how we generally add um, class files into the uh, MIGTEC distribution and uh, let's close this for a moment so we have successfully added the class file let's add a package so say for example uh, 
I'll take a package called Stanley say stanley.sty and this is springer svjour3.cls is a class file and package is generally the uh, style file sty file and I'll just save this and I'll quickly run this yeah here it is like uh, stanley.sty package I mean uh, this style file um, I mean it's a package not found so we will have we'll have to repeat the same procedure uh, just Please be patient. So I've got uh, the Stanley file, which is this is actually a structural analysis. I mean, it's an engineering, civil engineering, line drawing um, uh, file. I think uh, it needs Tixi as well. So it's a Tixi based uh, structural analysis and developed by um, Jurgen Hackel. So we thank you for creating this wonderful documentation. So all these diagrams you can probably um, uh, may a draw using this particular um, package so um, I'm gonna close this for a moment and uh, in this case um, I'll make up a folder called uh, Stanley and I copy the style file it doesn't have a bibliographic style file just the uh, class I mean it's just the basic st latex style file so I'm gonna put it here paste so I'll go I'll copy this and I'll go to my uh, default location program files and I'll go to make tech mm, make tech then tech remember this uh, tech and latex mtl so if you can remember the short form it's well and good so I'll copy and paste uh, here the um, Stanley and it successfully uh, got uh, up, uh, pasted here like you can see here Stanley I think ST mm, ST uh, can you see ah, here it is like Stanley and uh, I'll close this um, we know that we need to update the package uh, so but just give it a try let's see if it get compiles yeah it says still the error so which means that even though it's a package or a class file it has to be updated in the uh, MCTEC distribution so I'm gonna go to the uh, MCTEC distribution say for example here settings I'll get uh, you see there's two things like uh, this I've used recently so it got up here so I'll just select this yes i'll this time it runs very quickly because the first time when you update your package i mean update the database it takes quite a long time yeah here it is you see then i'm going to update the formats um if you keep on uh, updating um the, your packages i think this will not take much time so the first time it took a lot of time but now you see it got very quickly and uh, i think uh, we need a tixi to it also we need to have a tixi package also but let's see um I'll just quickly compile yeah it compiles so which means uh, for if, if I had some content of the Stanley it requires Tixi otherwise it's uh, in this case we are not uh, probably could have used uh, Tixi here um, so this is how you uh, update your uh, class file and a package so I hope this uh, video might be helpful for you so if you're a beginner and you're updating your packages and this is the uh, wonderful video and I I hope you really enjoyed it and I'm really happy to uh, share this uh, particular uh, techniques to you so keep texting um, in LaTeX and I hope you see you next lecture thank you